Hey folks, Matt here. Thanks for stopping by again. Hey, let me ask you a question. If you have a fuel injected car, how long does it take you to crank it before it starts? Is it just a quick flick of the ignition? Is it about one second? Is it two seconds, three seconds? Hopefully not more if you have a fuel injected car. We've been starting our cars um, in a way that has us hooked on a paradigm from the old carbureted engine days where you had to crank and crank and crank. We have not redesigned the starting system in a way that's fitting for a fuel injected car, which is 99% of the cars on the road today. Well, let's say 98%, I don't want to exaggerate. Um, and 100% of the cars coming off the assembly line, com combustion engine, they are all fuel injected. So, I'm going to propose we reinvent the way we start cars, and that is based on the following numbers. The current weight of a car starter is about 15 pounds, between 10 and 18 pounds. I just put one in my Grand Cherokee. It's got just under 370,000 miles on it. I put the fourth starter in a few days ago. Um, it weighs 16 pounds, but so let's just use for numbers 15 pounds. Um, the 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 Optima yellow top battery I have in there is about 50 pounds, but the average car starter, the I'm sorry, the average battery in, an, in a combustion engine car is 40 pounds. So I'm thinking, why don't we replace this with an air start system? Okay, instead of a 16 pound starter, we can use an, an air, a pneumatic impact wrench that weighs six pounds and costs, you know, off the shelf $50 from Harbor Freight. So we replace the heavy electric starter and the he very heavy car battery with a impact wrench that would go in there and turn the flywheel. Um, by the way, the impact wrench has well more, uh, well, uh, you know, enough torque, like three times the amount of torque as the car starter. The car starter delivers uh, 150 to 200 foot pounds the pneumatic wrench delivers between 210 and 585 foot-pounds of torque. More than enough just to turn the engine over. And that's operating at 90 PSI, okay? So replace the heavy electric starter with a, with a more powerful and lighter by, by two-thirds. It weighs one-third the weight. Use a, a pneumatic impact wrench. Replace the heavy copper cabling and harness with air hoses, okay? And there is a 12 volt compressor I found on Amazon. It operates at 100 with 125 PSI. It weighs six pounds and costs uh, $60. So what I propose is this air compressor that delivers the compressed air to the pneumatic impact wrench that it'll turn the car over using air one two or three second burst of air and then when you're done the air compressor would reach a low limit of let's say 90 or 100 psi then it would get power from a very light 10 pound lithium ion battery that's not as strong as the sealed lead acid battery because it no longer has to be as strong you know why because you're no longer starting the car with it you're starting the car with air, but you would still have that. You would still need a battery to power your, you know, the, to keep your spark plugs happy, to power the windshield wipers, the horn and the radio, and maybe the headlights. Rear defrost, but you, you, you don't have to have a 550 cold cranking amp battery anymore because you're no longer cranking the car cold. Uh, you would simply have to uh, you know, you still have the alternator powering the lithium ion battery, let's say 20 to 30 uh, amp hour battery. And that's enough to, like I said, keep the spark plugs happy. You know, race cars do not have an alternator. You don't need an alternator. You just need an alternator to, to power back the battery, which in turn powers the accessories and keeps your spark plugs happy, as mentioned a few times already. But they have enough battery to complete the two or three hour auto race. Like I say, they just need to keep the engine running and, you know, shift shift with the electronic shifter. So, so that is why you can save 30 pounds 
on battery, the lithium ion is 10 pounds. The sealed acid average is 40 pounds. I know my yellow top uh, Optima is uh, about 50 pounds. You would go from 16 pound starter to a six pound starter. And what else? The, the price off the assembly line would be the same. Uh, between $250, $300, and it's about the same price. You know, like I said, you get the uh, compressor, 12-volt compressor for $60, um, plus about $125 for the lithium-ion battery. And what else? Oh, the, the, the pneumatic wrench is about, uh, what, $60 also. $60 plus, how do I get about $250? Anyway, off the assembly line, the price is about the same, but you would, air is renewable. You compress it and then decompress it to start, and it goes out into the atmosphere. Then you compress some more, so it's completely renewable. Um, it's out there. It's free. Lead uh, in a battery is not free. What else? Also, you would have enough hose to where you could disconnect it and take it all the way back to the furthest, uh, the, the usually the rear left tire or the rear right tire. So you could pump up all your any of your tires, and you could assist other people with uh, their roadside needs if they need compressed air. Think, think about how you could, and you can still jump cars. You know, you can go from your 12 volt lithium ion battery to their 12 volt lithium ion or their sealed lead acid battery. So you can jump cars and you can also help with uh, inflating tires. So we need to change the way we start cars now, the, the starting system on cars to use compressed air instead of the very heavy electric start and very heavy battery. So let me know what you think about this. I think it's a great idea. Um, thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.